Hey everyone, it's your boy Doc Williams and in this video we're going to be talking about the tech that you need to create your own streaming services just like Netflix starting right now. All right, everyone, before we get into this, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel to make sure that you get everything possible to scale up your business, create a side hustle and all the things you want to do with your online business. In this video, we're going to be talking about the tech that you need to creating a streaming service just like uh, Netflix. Now, there's going to be a link in the description and in this video somewhere above my head where you can see the beginner's guide of creating a streaming service and also the Build With Me episode where it's an hour long plus where it's real time me building out a streaming service platform. We're now going to look at a few options that you can consider to get started right now. Okay, as we get started, I'm gonna show you a couple different options. Now, as we're looking at this, I'm first gonna talk about Podia and Teachable. Now, you might be saying, Doc, wait a minute, this is selling courses. This isn't a platform where you're streaming and people are you know, buying it that way. I understand what you're saying, but to create a streaming service, you wanna validate your idea and remember in the last video in the beginner's guide what are the key components people going to a website people giving you their email and then you're giving them uh, their content their, that library thinking about those three things that's what you can do with podia or teachable you're creating a library you're creating all of those things so you can create your own streaming service essentially based on these tools and we've done this even with the Build It community. There's different tiers. You're getting different vaults, different videos, and we have a tier system of what you can have and we lock out the rest based on the tier and what you're paying per month. Okay, so again, to us, it's a streaming service. But what if you're trying to look at something that looks identical to Netflix or something similar and you wanna be on Roku and those kind of things. Now, we did another video too, creating our own Roku video or Roku channel. But if you want an all-in-one encompassing platform, there's a few different options. Number one, Uscreen allows you to do all of those things. In our Build With Me episode, where we built out Netflix or a platform just like Netflix, this is what we use. We use Uscreen. Now, some people felt like, well, I want another option because I need a cheaper option. Okay, that's fine. Because yeah, again, starting here, the basic is $49 up to, you know, $300 plus. But again, if I want a certain feeling or if I want certain things to happen and I want the behavior to be just like Netflix, you're gonna have to make sure that you invest and create something using something like Uscreen. Again, if you're not ready for that, put up a landing page, put up a website and have just an opt-in where people can, can put in their information and say, yes, I'm interested. And don't even, you know, don't even pay for a site like this yet. Validate that people want your kind of platform like uh, Netflix or that streaming service and then go from there. Also too, if you think about uh, very specific brands, you could do this and validate. I'm thinking about something like uh, Cole Bennett and Lyrical Lemonade. Lyrical Lemonade is a very big brand where they work with a lot of hip hop artists and they have multiple YouTube channels. If I was them, I would look at having a paid premium streaming service and then again have all of this rolled up in there so that's just one example so if instead of thinking about you want to be the net the next netflix or amazon prime or you know what i'm saying is uh, a streaming service something like that think about can you create a niche and then offer that premium content for that type of audience you can do that with Uscreen. Now there's another platform that they're a startup, they're just getting started and we're going to be having a video also and we'll link it when it's out to this video. It's with a special project and special is for streaming for independence. And again, they're allowing you to have control. Uh, you can have your own brand, your catalog and owning your own data. And this is something, this is a newer company on the scene. So again, you can sign up for, for their beta or depending on when you watch this, it will already be open out of beta and you can sign up and see if it's something for you. This is another alternative and it's cheaper than Uscreen. So it's something to keep in mind. But again, I want to go back to this. Look at what all of this has in common. You need to have branding. You need to have a catalog. 
and you can track what the behavior pattern of your users, you can do that with Podia or Teachable or Thinkific things, uh, you know, LMS platform. So learning management software, you can do that. But if you want a certain look and feel, think about something like Uscreen or again, the new, um, the new company called Special. So when you're considering this, what I want you to do is in the comments section below, ask me any questions about this tech or if you have more follow up questions, but also let me know what you're working on and what kind of format, what's the feeling you're looking for that allows you to pick the right kind of platform for you and your endeavor. Also something to keep in mind, you screen when we were doing this for the last build, we just paid we I think we got a trial for like, uh, I think it was like 30 days or 15 days. The reason I bring that up is even if you're not ready to invest in this, if you have, give yourself 30 days to see if people care about this and you make it a beta, you're saying, hey, this is what the platform is going to look like. This is what's going to be behind the paywall. If no one pays you for that service, you know that your your copy, your writing is off or your value proposition isn't there yet and you have to go back to the drawing board. Test drive some of these platforms. They're free for those 30 days or a small duration use that time to go out to your target audience and see if people are willing to pay for that content. If you don't get any traction, you have your answer. You need to go back to the drawing board. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions, like, and subscribe to this channel in this video, and we'll be talking to you soon.